that is simple. He's called simple for many reasons, but he does make the game look so easy. 2-0 up against a, a team that's had no difficulty getting to grand finals, converting them as a different beast. Their fifth grand final and Vitality are on the ropes, as Chad has highlighted. It's a double kit pistol. Perhaps it wasn't a mistake, Chad. Very, very going in again. Yeah. We're going in again. Very strange to see, but let's get this one underway. Smokes and, and Molotov is... Oh, action already. Flame, he's caught off guard. RPK takes him down. Electronic tries to trade. That's a double for RPK. That's a great start. It's actually body shots. Now a simple, fully flashed. Okay, Vitality. They want to rush this one to its conclusion. Boomich and Perfecto, they are together. There's four CTs staring at them. They'd need to start hitting some good long-range clock shots. Then it's not quite materializing, and Boomich... You'd have to hope and pray. Yeah, this would be quite the 1v5 from Boomich here, especially with no armor, a Molotov, and 47 points of health. The time's good. The bomb, that's even better, but look at this, straight into him. Hello. Hi, guys. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Can I take that ladder drop back? I'd like to go somewhere else, actually. Okay, well, flawless start from Vitality there. Everybody's staying alive. And RPK, he, he is, he's going to have to be a pillar on that B defense. I mean, him and Masuta over towards the B bomb site. Use some uh, shocks over towards A, Zywu helping him out, and Apex in swing all over the map. Now, the buy coming through from Vitality. Of course, the Famous for RPK, a couple of MP9s in the mix. Oh, make that four. So, four MP9s and one rifle as Na'Vi are just going to limp in with an interesting buy. You can see Electronic going all in, whereas the other members of the team haven't invested that heavily. It might lead to a misread of the economy if Electronic charges around with an Armored Tech 9. Like that. Oh, that's a great start. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my one bullet. Apex still vulnerable and electronics opened Look up the this. site. The man, the myth, the legend. The nade's not good enough. He lives with three HP. The absence of armor felt perfecto solo. Zaiwu would need to be the hero. We haven't had that hero moment yet. Simple's been stealing all of the limelight. And he's been spotted now. And Zai was just looking to hold what little he has. The simple from behind, though. Timing is everything. He's aware. He thinks something's up. That's a great Harvey round. They only use an armored Tech 9 on electronic and crack that sight wide open. Flaming with the frag as well. His first of overpass. But Navi, yeah. They're about to deny it. A stylish Deagle. Oh. Oh, finish the job. Zai Wu oh. has escaped. Oh, has he? Has he? Oh, no. That is absolutely miserable stuff from Vitality. Couldn't even hold on to one saved SMG. Oh, they have just... What, a, what an anticlimax for the Vitality camp. Ah, that's, you get pissed. All right, boys, nice. we're doing it. Let's go. Let's get this. Come on. And now 1,400 loss bonus. Oh, uh, we'll force by, I guess. Electronics just killed you with your own teammate's weapon as well. He runs out of bullets, just finds and scavenges an MP9. Boom. Okay, well, this is an important round. As I state the obvious, Vitality <laughs> fully invested down to the goose egg for four of them. Ooh, the nade's lovely. Flamey takes a heavy chunk, heavy burden to bear for the rest of round three. Have four players over towards B, so there's a positive for Vitality if we're looking for very few of them. Yeah, I need a silver landing chat at this point. I uh, said so we weren't doing silver. <laughs> Not for Vitality. They can't handle that. Doesn't look like they'll be able to control their fate at this rate. Snarfy yeah. determining it for them. I have four smokes left, so this is pretty good with a minute 15 left on the clock. Flamey is a little bit threatening, and if they lurch forward, they can even flash on this push. We saw it work perfectly for them the other day against Heroic. Oh, he's no idea. Boomich has no idea. Shocks can come out for a freebie. He's lost Masuta, though. A string to his bow. Flamey being flanked on the reload. Big frag from Apex. You're right, RPK manages to convert. Bomb retrieval now for Perfecto, a priority. And look at Electronic taking so much space. It's two 1v2s, essentially, depending on how these CTs pivot. Zyru is the one that's gone for the mission of the potential flank. So nice that Vitality are cognizant that it's a threat. Does Perfecto bring the bomb? Seconds. He's going to have to get a move on here. They haven't cut off the connector rotation, so that's good. But Electronic, if he goes down, there's the real problem. Zywu playing quite passive here, now taking a step, and that nice. is a great shot. He had to just take that extra moment to guarantee the headshot, but now Perfecto's job becomes infinitely harder. Save. Yeah. With 20 seconds, he's barely got time to clear the site by the time he's planting the bomb. Is he really going to give it a go? He'd have to... Win out versus Zywu, 15 seconds. He opts for long. 10. No chance. He just needs to live right now. They gonna... can make a buy work, so he's going to get away with it. Fires off the shot. Zywu's a little 
Interested. A little intrigued. And they're going to hold on to their scavenge weapons here. But it's not great for <sighs> Vitality with what they picked up because look at the money for Na'Vi. Everybody can get AK-47s. Perfecto can even drop one across. So at this point, the buyer's going to look very, very good for Na'Vi going up against Vitality, who, sure, they've bounced back with a round of their own, but I'm sure they'll operate with a couple of these MP9s. They're actually going to be at the weapon disadvantage, but the Force by Wars are still on. Yeah, but if Vitality, and it's a big capital I and F, if they convert this, they will truly have control of the overpass start. One final early test for Vitality to seize control of a map they need. More flame. Shock takes it as a Q, and he charges into underpass, seizing control of the round. He's taken down Perfecto. He's taken down their info in middle. They're now divided. A house divided, if you will. Flamey is leaning monster. Three of them heading long side. Shocks right between, sandwiched between the two prongs of the Na'Vi Assault. All right, well, they've just thrown some nades over towards long right now. That might draw out the rotation, and you can just see how many ants are in the pants of Vitality. They're very active in this one. Sewer was clear. They've been able to get out of connector, and they still have three players planted over towards this B bomb site. In rotation will be Apex. He's now used his last bit of utility. And Zai was pressed forward. It will be a B finish, and there's a chance right now for Na'Vi to isolate this. It's going to be difficult to get in. They're only working with a smoke, two smokes, a flash, and a Molotov. It's not a lot. Oh, Asuta's Jiggle actually been spotted out by Electronic. He knows exactly where he is, and his Molotov will force the fight. Rotation from Apex is miles away now. He's even searching for more information, so it's a three on four on the B-bomb site. Shocks tucks in. Utility was enough of a Q. Suit has gone down, that's the start. Does the wall start to fall? RPK's only caught one. There's the flank. Big frag from Apex's flank. Shocks tucks in on the flash. His vision will be restored in time. Electronics hunting him, an AK upgrade, but that's a big frag. Electronic adjusting. Zaiwu finds him. They have the advantage and they convert Zaiwu. A crucial double. And the CTs wave goodbye to NAV on round four. That's big. That was all the AKs gone. They weather the storm in the bonus and they even bring two AKs into the fifth. Yeah, that's going to do a lot for Vitality here. They have a chance to start mounting a little bit of a CT bank. To come out on top of the Force by Wars against Na'Vi is never easy. And there you go. You can see what that one means. They're getting fired up in the room. They've got the energy. A bit of a face palm there as that early kill from Shox was quite the heroic moment, pushing through the flames, taking a huge risk. I think that's probably a lot of what the coach would have been saying after some of their moments on the last two maps. Guys, we've got to start fighting them. Start taking the jewels to them, playing with a bit of swagger behind them. And Na'Vi are just down to these pistols. You can see there's no armor behind this. A flash in Boomich's hands. They need to be able to force back a bit of room here. Oh, very viable shot for Simple. Doesn't connect. Whistles past the era of shocks. He's on notice, though. Timing on the peak. Zywu oh, does find Simple. An important one, getting him off to a flying start. Nade looks great. Electronic gets forced forward. He still takes Zywu down before he falls, though. No issues for Shoxy here. Another $600 found into the belly button of Perfecto. Just plucking out all of that lint and making a profit. One more. Does put Shox on the floor. Four to one. Na'Vi, the R2-0 up in this best of five, as we already framed it, Vitality. Getting a CT strong start is compulsory, but we've seen how that can get taken from them and on Dust 2. On every map, actually, so far. Well, right now, the buy for Navi won't give them an AWP. There wasn't enough cash to do so. It will just be AKs, maybe some Galils in the mix if utility is a priority. There you go. You can see two Galils. The nades are out. Simple even on one of the Galils. Make that three Galils. Oh, dear. Good nade as well. This is great damage over towards A. Looking good. Looking regimented. And looking coordinated. Vitality don't seem too thrown off by this. Monstrous. Oh my god. Shark's gonna get him Again. both. That's the bomb. Get out of underpass. He's getting hunted. Simple wants him and he finds him. Stabilizing now. Masuta can't afford to go down. That's a big frag on hips. Flamey. They have the numbers now. They've weathered it. Bomb retrieved by Simple, sure, but he's already paid such a heavy price alongside Electronic for these jewels. Shox has found another double kill. This time in the underpass. He's already caught Perfecto out once. Now twice. All right, well, how do these two absolute monsters of the game isolate some jewels? Because 
It's a two on four. There's 54 seconds remaining. They have a decent chunk of utility to work with, but they have to hope for a mistake. Vitality have been playing some very clean CS, but there's been a couple of moments where things have just not gone their way. Simple from Sandbags. Tough balance to strike for RPK. Oh, he doesn't get spot. Just in the nick of time. His flash will slow electronic. Simple advancing on his own util. It's being held. Throwing the bomb across. It's smart. And he actually finds Masuta. Apex vulnerable. And they find the round clean enough. Five now for Vitality. They are continuing to keep Na'Vi on their toes. These mid-round aggressions seem to be the recipe for success. See that again. Flashed in and executed was Apex's flash. I've identified a weakness quite clearly here, Vitality, or at least something they feel that they can exploit, and that is the connector position. It's going to be interesting to see how Na'Vi try and plug that hole or if there's any way that they can deal with it. They have to be more worried about it from this juncture onwards. It's hemorrhaged them some opening deaths. It's a part of the map they definitely need to make sure that they can stay fluid between these late round A and B hits and fakes. But it will just be the pistols once more, and Vitality should be looking very, very good for the sixth round. They're currently operating with two AKs. So that tells you how good things have been going for some of their players. Bank, ah, not built just yet. They're giving them nothing. Yeah, and this time the passive approach. So not quite sure what Na'Vi want to throw at them, but they've got monster presence quite clearly. That's going to be the likes of Apex tucked on in with RPK. Masuda will be dealing with Sandbag. But it's towards A is where they're looking right now. Shocks. He's going to hear that. He's going to spot that, and he's going to finish off Boomich. Information now to the other three. Behind this divider smoke, had some choices, but it feels now that they know where Shox is, they want to isolate the fight. He wants a fight as well. Shox is more than happy to stick around for this one. He's got Zywu just towards the back of sight here, flashing him up. Oh, he's got ready for simple though. This could be the punish. Shox does prepare. Handle it with grace. Doesn't have the bullets for the 4K. Electronic lives on. Perfecto too. And he's looking for the Deagle headshot. He does line it up. Takes the head off of Apex. They're making something out of nothing, but they just don't have the time. Bombs on long. They have to commit towards the site. If he could find Masuta, we could. We started to find a way back in for Electronic, but now no way. We're going to save the M4 here, but... Is there anything else there? He's charging forward. Yeah, he should die. He's working on it. There we go. So caught between some decisions right there, but Electronic goes down and Vitality keeping this relatively clean right now. Na'Vi, they will be able to buy. Simple can finally afford the AWP, but we're eight rounds into the game. And that's the first time we're going to see Simple with the big green. I will say that Na'Vi's CT side overpass is uh, at times very threatening. So Vitality, by finding as much as they can here, really minimizing the room Na'Vi will have to maneuver in that second half. This is good to see them bouncing back though. I, I want to wait and see if they can get a convincing half. It's fallen apart a couple of times for them. The around this stars. mark, yeah. around this this juncture, we start talking about quarters because of Na'Vi's resurgences in the second half of the attack. It's a different look right now. They have three players over towards A, aggressive towards Long. Shox is not left on his own right now, but there is a timing on how long Zywu can support him for. Masuda's actually over towards the bathroom's position, and this is about to be a brawl. Yeah, so he's got a flashbang. He's just going to hold his own, hold his oar. Oh, they push, and he's found it. Shox continues to fill the feed. Is he really going to get away unpunished? Oh, he's absolutely doing the punishing. Spanks another two. Boomich sent to an early grave. Perfecto and Flamey once again presented impossible odds. And it's RPK that confirms them. Just Perfecto hasn't even got a chance to throw any of his util. And he's faced with a 1v5. Shocks holding down long. What a great choice and what a conversion. Zywu pulls the trigger on one. Shocks doubles up. It's flawless. And they're not letting Na'Vi do anything late. Yeah, they're having a rough time with this one, Na'Vi. They're getting handled by Vitality here. And Perfecto as well. Coming out the off angle from Masuda. They grab a clean one. So five staying alive. And that's going to do wonders for the confidence. As now they're the ones who are putting the pain down range. Seven to one for Team Vitality here. We know how good their overpass can be. Has looked good. And this timing for shocks. It's here's the flash coming, pushes forward, gets a kill, tucks back in. So we're overseeing operations, just making sure it doesn't get too out of control. And that is a lot of impact from shocks there. 
But the pistols again, so just one of these half by situations from Na'Vi. They're not operating. They're RPK not to be tested. Masuta as well. And even Zaiwu throws an orb frag into the mix. Electronic can contribute nothing, but Flamey can. Only the one. RPK keeps things relatively controlled. Shox is going to get caught out here. Oh, Simple. Simple does find an AK-47, and he's partnered with Perfecto, both armored. And a two versus three. Against the odds, yes. Into the site, the plan. Masut is holding this smoke as it fades, drops off. A gap now. Simple can exploit it. RPK is adjusted. And that should be all she wrote. A great flash. Tagged, hunted. Perfecto stands his ground. They do double peak. And we do foot find an eighth onto the Vitality board. Look at that money now. So up to 12k. RPK with 12k. They need to reinvest, of course. But Masuda doesn't. He has got 10k to his name. So things are looking great for Vitality now. Still got AKs, man. They've keep, they kept them in circulation for a while now. Thank you very much. Simple giving us a lesson in positioning. Simple had a chance there on that RPK kill. That's unlike him in this series so far. Just to flub a shot like that. Yeah, you definitely caught him off guard, and you know Masuta will be alone against the two of them then. That could have been a very different round, but they hold on. Oh, and they're boosting onto the short pipe. A smoke, though, does guise this push. Well, they've got respect in connector now. Look how far back Perfecto is having to play. Just watching this slither gap. So with Shox beating him in a couple of duels there, he is operating at a much slower pace, which means the default from Na'Vi does as well. More pressure over towards B. Oh, come off it. RPK, for the first time this entire game, decides he wants to walk up on the monster smoke. And his fourth death is handed to him straight through it. It's a rough way to lose a player. And now it's going to be Zywu just over there towards the A bomb site on his own. Information being looked for here. Apex and Masuda pushing forward. They do have a clear sewer. And the that. backyard presence that is being held. Very nice. You can see that they had the uh, flight paths covered for any potential setups. Perfecto, he's always working his way through that underpass area. Flamey trying to set himself up on Monster for the Lurk. Oh, we can go either way with this. That's the beauty of having Perfecto in connector. Ooh, a switch up. Baiting shocks in is Saiwu's plan. You hear steps going back to the site. Maybe it's going to be an oversight in Electronic's path. Perfecto trying to sell it as best he can. We know someone's close as well. Oh, Look at that. Frag, yeah, that's going to get the CTs nervous. And another frag into the site looking very good now. Zaiwu and Masuta called to do the impossible. Tries to deny the plant with a bit of a Hail Mary shot. But this is Na'Vi's round all over. Flamey catching Apex just confirmed things. RPK's death They're just locked gets in right now. systematically like... punished. Flamey's got them locked in. They can't exit through B and he's... Locking the door even harder by now repositioning towards Monster. So I was dropped in. They want to take these rifles away. Sure, the money's good, but if you can punish the economy here, Flamey with a great kill. It's just Masuta. Last man standing over towards the B bomb site. And Flamey's not going to stop this hunt. He'll use his utility to try and deny anything, try and close this gap in the half. Punishing the save is a big part of that, a big component of that. They're pushing in. Oh, he's got Heaven to deal with as well. Yeah, no way. Na'Vi post their second. Flame with some contributions on the hunt. Good to see him filling the feed a little bit. If they have a couple of rounds like that where Vitality go to save again and they're able to keep it clean and hunt them down in that fashion, what you're going to see is the Vitality bank get broken very quickly. Saving is a huge component here of making sure you can stay threatening. That max loss bonus build, you save a gun or two, you're dropping them across, you're keeping the buys. Apex, very frustrated. Obviously, this is a high-pressure situation. The grand final, the fifth of the year, will continue to pump that storyline. But he needs to keep his cool. Oh, Shox is going for the coolest of maneuvers. Oh, and it always feels like Electronic is ready for anything. Is he ready for that? Shox, as the smoke fades, is behind two of the playground players. And it's Boomich that falls first. Electronic has to pivot now. Bring in the fight to Na'Vi, and it's paying off. He is being hunted. It's Electronic. What have you got? Symbols behind him. Looking for the orb shot. He's got Zywu now in tow. He's called upon the cavalry, and it's working. Flamey's low. Perfecto's juked out with RPK, and oh, good much Molly. worse for wear. Perfecto being hunted by Zywu now. God, they are just bringing the fight. CT aggression is the answer. RPK has to find Simple. Adjustment, nice. Bomb loose. Star of the show gone. And they're so low, they got nothing. 22 points of health between the two of them, but the orb still works. Shox has been so good. 
And he continues to be exactly that. It's only Perfecto. Sai, we wraps it up. The two of them bring in the fight to Na'Vi. I am impressed. Yeah, that was rushed by Na'Vi because they knew that there was two players pushing A. The B defender was isolated. Simple goes in the low and the low HP of Perfecto on Flamey doesn't make it possible for them to group up in the way that they would have liked. And that was well handled. It's a dicey round, but that's what we're expecting when these two teams go up against each other. A lot of mid-round biffs and brawls. They're more than happy to go for these duels. And there was a lot of pressure applied all across the map here. It was an aggressive stance from Vitality and one that pays off in the final stages. Just getting the better of the damage in those early duels. A nice shot there from Flame, but you can see just how easy this is. They walk on in, a stray bullet, that's all it takes. And they're back in this now. Apex out of his chair. He cannot sit down. He really can't. You can can't. see how pumped up he is. Got ants in his pants. As soon as he doesn't have to be in his seat, I don't think he is. Um, nine for the CT side. Vitality, I told you, they do need to post as much as they can to prepare for the Na'Vi defense. Here's the deal right now. If Vitality lose this one, they're only getting 1,400 in the next round as the loss bonus. That's going to stink. They've kept Na'Vi oh so honest here. These aggressions, the long hold shocks has been such an instrumental factor in putting these nine rounds on the board. He's on 15 frags. If Vitality lose this round, Na'Vi get a real chance to snowball this half and get back with the 9-6 scoreline. 9-6 would feel like a loss in Vitality's book. Yeah, especially considering how they've been kicking this one off. An RPK taking a very open position here, but it normally catches players off guard. It's on an angle you're expecting people to be standing in, right in the open, as Flamey's the man to deal with that. Simple's rotating back over towards A. This is looking more like a standard default. No nope. real issues over towards Connector, but here's a problem. Oh, Zywu looked away, second guessed himself and can't get the crosshair back in time. Flash to stop the hunt. RPK, balls of brass. Oh, and Apex has walked straight into the line of fire. A huge opening frag that does mean the CT will long. have to look for info. And going for the long info is Electronic hidden in the corner. <gasps> Zywu looks away again two times. He's been timed. And Electronic even jumping for the info, swings in and finds another head. Electronic leaps into the limelight. A big duel won by RPK, keeps the round within contention. He'd need a double. Masuta, what have you got? It's only the one. Electronic finding his triple kill. He fills the feed enough to convert a third. <sighs> Lovely shooting from Electronic, going. man. If they can get the chase out here and they can take this rifle away from RPK, look at what they're operating with. I said it's 1,400 loss bonus in the next. That'll put Zywu at 4.4K. Shox will be able to get an AWP. But if you take this away from RPK, he's going to be operating with absolutely nothing. Just 2.4. Masuda's going to have around 1.8k. Apex in the middles of the threes. This is a big hunt right now. RPK needs to hold on to this rifle. Really only one threat to worry about. And it looks like Electronic's not going to go any further than this. So Vitality will have some questions to ask themselves at this point. The loss bonus. Normally when you're operating with that 1400, you want to go for... Uh, a bit of a force buy, but at this stage of the game and uh, more cash on the likes of Shox and Zywe, what are you going to do? You could drop the orb. Shox could even buy it and use it himself if they wanted. But this is what I'm talking about with the difference between what could be, you know, a 10-5, 11-4. Now we could be having a 9-6. Navi fans should be excited about the prospects of the next round. And that was with that Apex first death. So for him, if the emotions get out of control, that's going to spell trouble. How buying in, so here we go. Four M4s, they've got a Famous, a Suter onto a Deagle, they haven't gone for the AWP. No kit right now. Winning this one for Na'Vi. Could be absolutely everything. Over towards B, there's more of an indication early. The four-man lean is currently the hold from Vitality and Perfecto. Flash forward, takes Sewer Control, Flamey now up towards the Sandbag. This might be a quick approach. They're looking to see if they can find a pick here, and there is a slight gap right now. Masuta gets a lot of info, sees pins pulled, tucking in, Flamey's the one though, and it's perfect. Good shot from Masuta to stop the swing. Another required, it's Boomich and it's a good shot, nice from Masuta. Zaiwu's even contributed, simple caught, and it's the headshot from Zaiwu. Is Electronic allowed to enter the site? The flash deters him. And now they can set up, they've even got back across, I say that. It's Masuta with a third Deagle headshot. Big round from the rookie. In the grand finals, no less, he finds it and puts the 10th on the board for Vitality. They needed a round like that from a suitor. We haven't seen one yet. He was the only one going into that round without a rifle, and he pulls off that magic, so great stuff. And this shot here onto Simple. That's a big one for Zywu to hit. And this is this, just forcing forward with the Deagle, taking space.
cracking open another skull. So that is impact, and that's the impact they need. Now up to 10, 10 to 3 is the scoreline, Na'Vi. They bought back in again. These are all confidence boosters. Counter-Strike continues to unfold this ever-evolving puzzle. 10-man live solved puzzle. And there's so much going down already. I can see so much smoke thwarting initial transgressions. Towards the fountain they go. Don't forget, Shox's push has made them paranoid. You're paranoid about long now. You're paranoid about the potential for a party peak. You have to go through so many procedures because of the previous decision making of your defensive rivals. I think Shox right now is 5 0 in opening duels. Yeah, that makes sense. He's been getting a really good jump on Navi as they approach Connector, as they approach A. Has been very active in this. Five multi kills as well. Quick smoke at the top along. They want Zywu on notice. They're playing two forward in toilet, so one of them can get thrown forward as a bit of a martyr, and it looks like Shock was having a no look in there. No way, dude. Okay. Electronic. His suspicions are often rewarded. A spray onto Zywu through the smoke. He's managed to inflict significant damage. Zywu's operating on just 16. Apex, you sticking around, bro? Takes the jewel. Gets traded four on four into the B site. 25 seconds. Classic Navi. They're going to get locked out of this. Yeah, there is always that flank. And Shox has got one of his own. Nice from RPK. Just save. a pillar of consistency. And Shox has swung in. Boog frags, though. They can turn this around. RPK, crucial frag. He's gone down. Boomich has the time. Zaiwu, don't forget, electronic smoke spray has brought him this low. And he's walking in with the USP. Boomich isn't ready for this. Zaiwu, that is flawless. Normally, you'd be sweaty palmed. You'd be nervous. You'd be taking the AWP, looking for the shot on the plant, but he walks up with seven HP and double dinks him in the side of the head. Couple for good measure after death. Post-mortem. 11 for Vitality. They are doing all the necessary damage here on the CT side to at least convince us there's potential for a fourth. This is a great first half out of them, and they've been tested. There have been a lot of Na'Vi buy rounds. They continue to get into sites. They continue to get the bomb down, and look at shocks there. Goes from worried to celebrations in an instant. And this is some good stuff. I'm glad that Vitality are bouncing back here. Now, don't forget, Na'Vi, they got reverse sweeped earlier in the year by Astralis. EPL season 12 finals. They've been in a final this year and not just the Katowice. Hello, Shox. Up to his usual tricks. It's usually Electronic and Boomage hunting for him. I wonder how they fare this time. Oh, I think he's on for another huge double kill. Shox has done it again. A round-winning multi-kill to start off proceedings. They didn't even have a full buy. Those rifles have been taken from them so early into the piece, and then you can count on RPK for a couple on the B hit. Shox can work on his flank. He may even the door. catch the magic of that bomb. It's down towards T-Spawn. He hasn't pressed the issue enough. Flamey will recover that, and Simple trying to recover the round. Wins the duel on Apex. One down on B. Lots of time, so Navi can just put the brakes on here. It looks like they want to take control back through connector now. Simple. But Shox is frags. Surely you're paranoid. Yeah, they have to be worried. The issue is if they just hit the B bomb site, that's likely where the stack is. You can see that Zawu helping out over towards B again, throwing down another smoke. That's going to lock off Monster. RPK even took a little bit of a look. And now with 40 seconds left, Navi really don't have too many choices. They don't know what they to do. To go B. This is the power of Shox's positioning and frags. They just accepted that they have to walk into what's likely a stacked site. This util better be good. Masuta. Oh, it was. It was a team flash that gets him this first. And RPK can mop him up. It's clean. 12 vitality. We are finally seeing signs of life from the French. Overpass as well. We'll be back with your second half and keep this juice flowing.
taking did i do something wrong life isn't easy why did you leave me here with my thoughts alone It seems the only way to stop a god is to ascend yourself. 6-0 in opening duels. Six multi-kill rounds. Shoxy Jesus has risen and has managed to make enough of a statement to convince us that this grand final may still have a little bit left in the tank. Our machine, I've got Sponge with me, and we are all watching the action unfold live before our very eyes as two of the world's best duke it out in the server. This is different now. Vitality have posted so many rounds on their defense that this attack, it can have its blemishes, it can have its oopsies. Na'Vi will punish every one, but they are set to secure a potential 16. Chad Burchill's still skeptical. Na'Vi have got enough to prove throughout overpass. It's defense. They've seen this map work very many times, Chadney. Yeah, this is going to be difficult for Vitality still. If Na'Vi can get off to this pistol, Grab themselves that conversion. Well, they could be back in this one as quick as you like, because Simple, he's still fragging. He's dealt with a lot right now. They're closing in. He's the only man on A. He's locked in. He has to stay here and commit to the fights, and they've overwhelmed him. He doesn't even get to do a single point of damage. It's fast. It's furious. And Masuta, he's lost his head. RPK trades. Electronic and Simple down early as if they're brilliant start to a pistol round. And they're looking to build upon it. Apex actually with some aggression. They want to deny it. Oh. Jumping in from the off angle. He adjusts nicely with Zaiwu's help. And they finish it before it even gets going. There's a clear indication in this map that Vitality have had a team talk and they've said, let's take the fight to them because there's been so much aggression. They're happy there to keep their foot on the gas and barrel down, taking these jewels, getting stuck in and shocks. He was a member who was showing that in buckets and spades in that first half, aggressive across the map, taking jewels early and towards connector. And at that point, he's really unraveled Na'Vi's game plan. This was Na'Vi's pick. They decided to take it here for map number three of the series. And whatever they'd been working on, whatever prep work they had done for their T side, well, it was blown out of the water. Now they're going to buy back in. They force bought, but this is do or die for Na'Vi here on map number three. They lose this. It's just going to be down to the eco in the next. And at that point, it's just Vitality waltzing across the finish line and taking us to map number four. It's going to be a very strong rifle buy from Vitality. Inferno Five next, right? Bloody Galils, yeah. Ooh, I would love to see me an Inferno. He gets stuck in about the whole Nevera playing the arts yeah, the bingo, orbs. I would anchor B. I mean, talking of Zai, we're glad you were mentioning him as well as his face being on our screens. He's managed to really keep not only himself 
afloat, but also keeping simple, honest, keeping 17 and 5. It is definitely time for him to start making a statistical resurgence. In the first time we've seen these two in a grand final, number one and number two of the world battling for that top spot. Right. So not in a rush. No, and it looks like B might be the finish. There's 50 seconds left. They have connected control, but with the bomb currently glaring in Monster, it looks like that's going to be the finish. Molly's are coming in. Smokes are following. Seems good. Two to defend upon the smoke of heaven. Great the nade. nades are great, though, and Perfectives actually managed to find one with his. Masuta's gone, and there's chaos in the smoke, trying to stabilize. Finally, the frags favor them. Apex has found them both, lingering on the site. Simple's only got the scout for this fight. The wallbank's not looking promising. He's getting closed in on shocks, tucked in close as well. Just looking to preserve now, maybe. Yeah, they need the double dip here. Shouldn't be hanging around now. V have to hold on to this upgraded scout, P250 and CZ. I tell you get away with that relatively cleanly. The nade damage was good, but then the skirmish around the smoke didn't fall in their favor. And Vitality are um, well, now in the driver's seat if they weren't already. It's difficult to see how Na'Vi get back into this map. And I'll post some of the hurdles for you. Sure, they save these three guns and they get to have another crack in the next round of play, but this is already 14 for Vitality. Now, if you want to buy again, well, you can go for it. But if you're Na'Vi, you're going to be operating with very little. You can see the, the loss bonus that they're operating with, the 2400. So your buy is not going to resemble anything that Na'Vi can, I mean, that Vitality won't be ready for. And if they are even able to uh, get across the line there, they'll still be operating with peanuts. So th at this point of the game, it it's Na'Vi who really need to hope for a magic moment. They are going to take the conservative approach here. And the they'll have guns next round, but poof, this is already going to be 15. Triple threat of RPK, Zywu and Shocks, all in form. That's been enough to get them here. Boomich using the kicked up water from the nade to peak and obscure his swing. Kind of like that. Nuanced, but it's cool all the same. Yes, yeah, it's just Navi have to hope that they get in the right, the right place late round. We can see that Vitality being very, very slow in this default. They're going to use all of their nades, clear out the close corners, make sure these pistols cannot be a threat. Masuta even the one forward with the Mac 10. Once they have connector control, it does look like they'll go for another one of these B finishes. So again, in the skirmish, there is a chance for Na'Vi. Oh, wow. Boomich was fully blind. The second flash was designed for that. And he still gets the headshot. Na'Vi, a threat. Shouldn't be much more, but the flashes continue to be a threat. That is the last one gone. And now the cleanup on ILB. Perfecto goes down, RPK with a double, and Simple hunted down as well for good measure. That's 15. Whew, looks very good for Vitality. They have not let Na'Vi even think about digging their teeth into this defense. This is where they usually do the damage. It's not possible when they're already staring down the barrel of 15. A valiant shot from Boomich, despite the flashbangs, but upon the last little bit of that Na'Vi utility, the rest of the frags just come easy. I'm sure there's a mood change in the camp right now. This starts to feel possible. Nevera, the man you see there sitting behind Zywu, he comes in again on the next map. They go to Inferno, where they have been looking a lot stronger in recent times. And now we're going to be questioning what the hell happened. We're only one map away from this. It was our choice. We didn't even put up a fight. Looking very likely to be the 16-3 right here. Simple does have the AWP. They're not operating with a defuse kit right now, and they have to go for the retake. Keep smoke towards A. Electronic. Cool. No one's checked it. No one considered it. Apex trades it, though. They advance. Bomb He's was open. loose. Yeah, it is wide open. Simple's rotating. Can hear the steps in toilets. It's too late. Feels late, it's especially so with Flamey. That's such a Hail Mary. Drop the smoke now. Simple's got bank as an option. Masuta's util can sort us out. Bomb's down Optimus, and Simple's burning. He has the AWP, though. This is for survival. Na'Vi have to give it a go. A good angle held. Simple finds the first apex. Forced to watch as his team try and convert, try and pull us into an inferno. Vitality on Na'Vi's pick of the best of five. Good nade damage already. Boomage down to 52. They close the gap. They're on the site. Toilets after plan. It's on Optimus. This is awkward. They can just hold it. They can just hold it. They are holding it. No way. He's still on it. Perfecto. The spray's not there. He's ninja it right under their noses. A full 10 seconds. 
And that's just a w little bit of a wobble across the finish line. They've tripped over their own shoelaces there. Yeah, delaying the inevitable right now. Navi with all five members going down. Sure, they get the round. Sure, that defuse comes through. But check out the bank balance. There's four of the players operating with less than 4,000. Perfecto, the only one with a truckload of cash. And he's just spent that mainly on utility, which means he's actually operating with an MP9 as well. So you win the round. You go in with three MP9s and two Famuses. Joy, uh, joy. To AWP the world. and the four AK 47s is what Vitality have. So you guys do the maths. I'd rather not. If you... <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody but Alex Thank do the you. maths. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to someone else. Okay, Vitality can just go through the paces in the exact same fashion as they just did. Everything worked besides the post plant. They all evacuated the site, maybe forgot where they planted, maybe getting a little bit too far ahead of themselves. But with the score line now 15 to 4. It's only a matter of time until they get across the line. Caster's curse, Zywoo though, onto Electronic, bombs loose. If Boomage peeks in, Zywoo's missed it. That was a chance to really fully equalize. And now it's gone astray. Apex will have to respect that incendiary. He has no idea what wait, awaits him around the corner, but that's given time for Flamey and Boomage both to rotate in. Nade looks promising too. Bang. Zywoo so shaved down to 46, takes another pot shot, confirms there is still presence on long. They continue, shocks into the site. Boomage trying to stand his ground, there's flames everywhere, trying to get the bomb down, looking good now for Vitality, simple. With only the Famas, I don't know if Zywoo caught a glimpse, he's positioning like he did. Oh, he's gonna flank him. Shocks is holding one swing. Simple will get it, is he ready for this? He is, he jumps over the shot. Zywoo's gone down, <laughs> extra unload. Puts Apex into a clutch scenario, Na'Vi are making it awkward. And Perfecto has managed to get across to the site. He's done the necessary. Another round pulled out of the brink of elimination. Na'Vi, oh. find another. Simple besting Zywoo. It's getting closer and closer. But Vitality still yet to pull it across the line. They still have all the cash they need to splash. But Na'Vi starting to be able to make a bit more of a round out of this now. Jeez, it'd be 10 more rounds necessary. And that would have to be... 12 straight rounds to take us to overtime here. Now, signs of life are good. Jumps over the shot. He got so lucky there. I love the extra bullets into it after the fact. <gasps> just for good measure. Yeah, just make sure he's not getting up that's again. Okay. Uh, that's German. All is good in the hood. Okay, AKs are out again. Shots just get knifed at spawn. Uh, it looks like we're calling off the round here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So we'll be uh, restarting this one. Don't you worry. We fixed these technical issues really quick around here. We'll get this one back underway. But uh, as we take a look going forward, Vitality did have the five AK-47s, which means they can continue this onslaught forwards. Mm -hmm. Lots of typing going on right now, but... Everyone's happy. We play on. Hopefully as Larry. So here's the buy. AKs and everything they need. Apex is the only one missing a little bit of utility. If a 10 second into diffuse, Chad. Yeah. Translates into a second, then translates into a third, and then a It's 10 more rounds, all right? Once we get Four, five more, so I might start. Fifth, I'll uh, start having the conversation at double digits. All right. I'm not fine. breaking the rules for a grand final. Fine. Vitality, a formality. There you go. I'll keep cursing it. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> the power we have. We actually go to voodoo school. Yep. See the things we learned. Still working on my uh, voodoo dolls. You didn't. Uh... Okay, shoxy has gone. Another early opening kill for Na'Vi. I hear that tone in your voice, Alex. I'm just planting a seed, Chadney. All right, we can work with one. Oh, and he's even wall banged him down to 50. That's an adjustment. Lol. He sounds like a teenager. That's crazy stuff. Apex gets away with that. This could be the start of the end. Na'Vi taking info, Ooh. and if Electronic was to advance up that ladder, of course, unbeknownst to him, the bomb lies idle. This is quite the awkward fight right now. I'm not sure if I was going to come down and clear that deep in towards Connector, so Electronic Good may question. have won the round just with his positioning. The bomb will get scooped up now. Apex is coming back through. If he goes underpass, I'm screaming. I don't think that'll be his uh, avenue forward. Oh, throwing it further towards B. Uh -huh. Um... Uh, All right, well, uh. Zywoo's actually coming back through underpass. Oh, and he's not ready for electronic and the discipline. Practices it for a second. And he'll go take the ladder. Cheeky boy. Is he going to operate under the assumption that it's clear? 
This is no time for you Vitality right now. now. Yeah, there's just absolutely no time for this. Look, look at the clock. 20 seconds left. Even if Apex picks it up, they've already got players over towards B playing retake. You called it, Chad. Electronics won the round. Just with this cheeky positioning, that's all it comes down to. 15 seconds. Yeah, there's no nothing. time to plant. Nope. The sound cue as well. Sold Apex down the river. Wow. What a uh, odd one right there. But Vitality, like we're saying, they just need that one more round, so they don't want to take any risks. The number disadvantage, no point forcing forward. Electronic, maybe he can get one after time. Just wants that AK-47. So, six now for Na'Vi. And uh, a timeout for Vitality. Now, when you're on the cusp, when you're on the precipice of locking up a map, there's a lot of different options that you can go for here. You can try and be quick. Like, I'm not saying to, to throw the game away. You'd normally have a pocket execute or two that you can come out with, something to, to really shut the door on this. If you've been working on something and you, you have an idea of, you know, in a tough spot, use it here to try and close out the map. They're going to talk through their options. I'd be listening to the coach right now. See what input he has in this, because with just one round, if you let it get back yeah. and closer and closer... You don't want to let anything, you know, you don't want to let doubt breed. Yeah, well, the fact is that if you lose this, you've lost the grand final, your fifth grand final in the year. So close it down, keep your head above water, make sure that you can go onto Inferno, at least with a smile on your face. You've picked that one. You've allowed yeah. that to be the fourth map here in the best of five. It would roll out the red carpet for a five-map affair. And we're off. A tech nine for shocks. He was only down to 2k, so he swallows the bitter pill. He'll be looking to find and show some aggression earlier. Molly's short to stop the early info pushes and... Trying to make it feel like a lot of pressure on towards B. That's Shox's mission. Three through connector. Interesting approach here. It's a different look. They're throwing us a different flavor, and you can see what it's done. It's got Na'Vi on the defense. They're pulling out pins, and Symbol's even just caught some flak from heaven. I might wow. find a timing here. Check this out. Electronic is isolated over towards Long. He'll be rotating back towards Sight, and Simple's just gotten into position now, so they might not expect them this close. This is quick from Vitality. Oh, Simple definitely knows they're this close. You wouldn't be throwing that utility otherwise. He's got Electronic to count on. First flash arrives. Shocks in. break open the site. It's Electronic who stands his ground, reveals his location, takes a gamble. Simple's putting the trigger. Another frag for Simple. Finally, he's shut down. They got time. The bomb will be planted. RPK taking space. Zaiwu and RPK, a chance here to finish it all and take us to Inferno. He's found Boomich. There's two more where that came from. Blind. Flashed and punished. One more and one tap. The tank seals the deal. And Vitality will go to Inferno with the smiles on their